In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best exercise to strengthen that lower back. If you want to do all the exercises, you won't need too much equipment. All you need is a soft surface like a yoga mat, a light kettlebell, and a Swiss ball. My name is Nina. I'm a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach. Let's go ahead and get started with some kettlebell deadlifts. But first, let me just go over the hip hinge. So the hip hinge, you're gonna go feet about hip width apart and you're going to pull the hips back and your butt back that way with a flat back. So you don't want to round the shoulders just like this. And you're just gonna look down and as you come up, you look straight ahead. Let's do this two, two more. Down, pull that butt back and engage the abdominals. Up, down, and up, so you keep the knees slightly bent. So now let's go ahead and grab a kettlebell. You always wanna start light. So when we do kettlebell deadlifts, same technique, hinge back and then go down. Now if you wanna go all the way down, just make sure that you aren't straining your hamstrings. So for me, I have very tight hamstrings. So I just, all I do is I bend my knees more and then go back up and I squeeze my butt at the top, down and up. Now some people have pain when they do deadlifts with double legs. So a nice little fix is you can do a single leg deadlifts. So you can either do with a, make your leg as like a kickstand I can show you from this way as well. And then you just bend like this. And I'll show you with the other leg. Like that. Another way is to do a deadlift, but first do this one without a kettlebell. And you just hinge forward using balance. And you, what I usually suggest is to have a, a chair over here for a balance put that toe back and then you just lean forward and then go right back up slowly and carefully <laughs> and so where you want to look is about one and a half feet in front of you so I'll show you again and chin up down and up so I'm going to show you a couple more exercises so let's go ahead this one is my absolute favorite so we're going to go on the floor and lay right down on your tummy and just put your cross your arms and put your forehead on your forearm like this now straighten out those legs point the toes and you're just going to raise one leg down other leg down and alternate and then, so I like to do about 20, 10 on each side. And then I like to do both at once, up and down. And on the up part, so here's up. I like to hold for about two seconds, slow lower. That's called eccentrics. Powered up, hold, one, two, and down. So that's a really good one. Another one that's excellent is called bird dog. I'm sure you've done this. So you go into an all fours position. They also call it quadruped. And you just put one foot out and the other arm up. So one thing to be careful of is if you don't want to hyperextend. Hyperextend is where your leg's way up there and then you're ending up arching that low back. So you want to keep your back straight in this particular exercise. And you want to just go about 90 degrees. So I think, I can't see myself, but I think I'm about here maybe and you can play with this foot you can either point it or uh, keep it flat so and then you just want this arm about 90 degrees and then you just alternate 10 per side and then do that on the other side and this one is my absolute favorite all right so I'm gonna grab the ball if I can reach it. Okay. So this one. So I'm going to lay on the ball. 
right on my tummy, walk it out. And I like to bend my elbows a little bit. I'm looking not down like this, but about right here. And then I'm gonna squeeze my butt and raise down, tap down. So if you've got one of these, do it with me. These are so fun. I just, it just feels good. So I like to do like 10 of these, take a break, do something else, and do maybe one or two more sets of 10. They just really feel really good. So you can do all these exercises, maybe not all of them, <laughs> a couple of them, and just do them once or twice a week. Oh, and then the, here's another one, one more I wanna show you. So this is an elbow plank. So go on the ground, feet are hip width apart, and squeeze your butt. That will make sure you're not sagging. And hold. So I like to do this for about, get my timer to just about 30 seconds. And if you then, if you decide, oh, this is, I'm a pro at this, then pull your elbows toward you and then you'll start to shake. And then try that for 30 seconds. And then eventually go for a minute. So those are really good for strengthening the low back. And you wanna do these types of exercises at the end of your workout. And if you're doing abs, do this after doing an ab workout. So if you like this video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to tap the bell so you receive notifications. Share this with anyone you think may enjoy it. And if your goal is weight loss, check out my website. I've got all sorts of products to help you lose weight. And you can sign up for my blog where you will receive recipes, diet tips, and videos you may not have seen before emailed to you twice a week. I have another video here that I think you might enjoy, so check that out, and I will see you soon.